Color toning can be used to alter the mood and overall look of an image. Affinity Photo offers many ways to alter color tone. I'll show you one way to do it using a single adjustment. So let's get started. I'm using Affinity Photo 2.0.4. The mystery adjustment is gradient map. A gradient map maps color or colors to different levels of luminosity or brightness in an image. Basically shadows, midtones, and highlights. You can map a different color to each level of luminance or brightness or use the same color for one or more of them. It's up to you. Let's illustrate what a gradient map does with this image. As you can see, there are three colors, black, gray, and white. Black corresponds to shadows, gray midtones, and white highlights. Let's apply a gradient map adjustment to this image. Click the adjustments icon at the bottom of the layers panel and select gradient map from the dropdown. This adjustment is baffling at first, but it's simple to understand, so bear with me. Note that our image has changed. It's now red, green, and blue. Why? First of all, let's take a look at the gradient map adjustment dialog. Notice the band of color ranging from red on the left, to green in the middle, to blue on the right. This is the gradient. A gradient provides a smooth transition from one color to another without a sharp or hard divide. Notice also that there are three nodes, one on the far left, one in the center, and another on the far right. The left side of the gradient represents shadows, the middle midtones, and the right highlights. So the gradient map is mapping red onto the shadows in our image, green onto the midtones, and blue onto the highlights. Let's turn the gradient map off for a moment. Our image is back to black, gray, and white. Remember, black is shadows, gray is midtones, and white is highlights. Let's look at the gradient map adjustment dialog again. The left side is red. That's the color that will be applied to the shadows in our image. The middle is green. That color will be applied to the midtones in our image. And the right side is blue. That color will be applied to the highlights in our image. Let's turn the gradient map back on again. In our image, black has become red, gray has become green, and white has become blue. We can easily change the colors the gradient map applies. Instead of applying red to our shadows, let's tell the gradient map to apply yellow. To do that, click on the node on the far left of the gradient. This represents shadows. Now click on color down here and select yellow. The color red in our image has been replaced by yellow. The green has become brighter. That's the result of the gradient providing a smooth transition between colors, but the blue on the right is unaffected. Let's turn the gradient map off again. Our image has not changed. I'll turn it back on. Now let's apply orange to the highlights instead of blue. Click on the node on the far right. This represents the highlights. Click on color again and select orange. In our image, blue has been replaced by orange. You can delete any node in the middle, but not the two nodes on the far left and right. So let's delete the node in the middle, representing midtones, and see what happens. First click on the middle node to select it, then click the delete button. The green in our image has become light orange, corresponding to the color in the middle of the gradient, which represents midtones. You can add as many nodes as you'd like. Just double click anywhere on the gradient arm. And now you can set its color. Let's set it back to green. When working with a photo, we'll also adjust the gradient map's blend mode and opacity for a more subtle effect, as you'll see in a moment. So that's basically how a gradient map works.
Now let's use it on a couple of photos. This is Lake Ontario past the winter's midpoint. Spring is coming. It's still cold, but not too cold. Let's use a gradient map to raise the temperature a few degrees. Click on the Adjustments icon at the bottom of the Layers panel and select Gradient Map from the drop-down. Before we do anything else, let's change its blend mode to color. This is generally a good blend mode for color toning and serves as a good starting point. We can experiment with different blend modes later. Now let's reduce opacity to about 50%. Okay, that doesn't look so alien. We want to warm things up, so let's map some warm colors into the shadows, midtones, and highlights of our image. First, the shadows. Click on the node on the far left. This represents shadows. Click on color and set it to a deep orange. Now for the midtones, click on the middle node, click color, and set it to a lighter orange. And the highlights. Click on the node on the far right, click color, and set it to yellow. Now let's reduce opacity to about 20%. That's looking like a warm autumn day. Let's turn the gradient map off and on to see the difference. That's quite a difference in temperature. Let's turn the gradient map adjustment off. Now let's make it colder. Let's add a new gradient map adjustment, set its blend mode to color, and reduce its opacity to about 50%. Let's map some cold colors onto our image. For shadows, let's set it to a deep, cold blue. For mid-tones, a slightly lighter shade of blue. And for highlights, a nice light blue. Let's reduce opacity to about 20%. There's too much blue in the shadows for my liking, so let's click on the little gear icon up here to bring up the Blend Options dialog. Let's make some adjustments. There are no rules here. Just play around with it until you're happy with the result. You can always hit the reset button for each graph to undo your changes. That looks much better and colder. Let's turn the gradient map off and on. That's at least a few degrees difference, I'd say. Let's turn both adjustments off and on to see their impact again. Quite a difference between the two, and yet subtle at the same time. Here's a stock photo. Let's try something a little different with this one. Let's add a gradient map adjustment and set the blend mode to color and reduce opacity to about 50%. We'll set shadows to light green.
We can experiment with any color combination. If it works, it works. Let's set midtones to light violet. And highlights to red. Let's reduce opacity to around 30%. That's looking pretty cool. I'll turn it off and on so you can see the difference. Subtle yet effective. Let's turn that off and add another gradient map adjustment. Let's set shadows to white. Midtones to dark pink. Highlights to yellow. Now let's reduce opacity to around 50%. Let's experiment with different blend modes. We'll cycle through them and see how they look. A lot of different effects. Let's try linear light. Reduce opacity to about 25%. Let's try moving the mid-tones node around a bit. That looks good right about there. I quite like that. This adjustment's a lot of fun to work with once you understand it. Let's turn it off. We can also use the gradient map to convert a color photo to black and white. So let's do that right now. Add another gradient map adjustment. Since we're converting to black and white, we want to map black, gray, and white onto our image. If you like, you can map dark gray, mid gray, and light gray, whatever takes your fancy. Let's map black into the shadows. At the top here, let's select grayness from the menu. Now we can choose black. Let's adjust the slider at the top to zero for a pure black. Let's set mid-tones to a medium shade of gray. and highlights to white. And set the slider to 100 for a pure white. We'll leave the blend mode at normal for this and opacity at 100%. Now let's grab the mid-tones node and slide it around a bit till we get the look we're after. That's good right about there. Not bad at all. An impressive and versatile adjustment which opens up a lot of possibilities. I hope you'll take the time to play around with it and see what it can do. Thank you for watching.